Hello, old friends and new strangers. My name is Vega. Today, I'm playing a game called Quench. This is a puzzle slash kind of adventure game where I get to play an elephant and I have to help her guide her elephant herd and all the other animals across the wilderness on a journey that they take for reasons which have not been given to me. Uh, like most of the games that I play, I don't know anything. I have watched no playthroughs or looked up nothing. The only thing I know is what was written in the description when I bought it. So I bought this game through the Itch.io bundle for racial justice and equality. That bundle is gone. It is still available the regular way, either through Steam or Itch.io. I believe it's also available for Switch. However, if you would like to continue to support racial justice causes, I have included a link in the description to my charity of choice, the Southern Poverty Law Center. They do excellent work on this cause and other causes in my community. Also, while this is being recorded, I'm sure most of you have heard about the horrific explosion in Beirut. So while we're talking about community support, I also wanted to include a link to donate to the Lebanese Red Cross. So all of those links will be in the description as well as links to other resources as to how you can help out for both of those causes. Now, I am super excited to play a game about elephants because I absolutely adore elephants. I think they are such fascinating creatures. They're so intelligent. They have such a deep social structure. They're just so really cool, y'all. I love elephants. So I'm very excited about it. So without further ado, let's get started playing Quench. Once every generation, the elephant tribe makes a grand pilgrimage. They set forth from the western elder tree and gather the other animal tribes. Springbok. Oh, I love springboks. Wildebeest. Zebra. Baboon and Lion. To make the long journey to the Eastern Elder Tree. As they always have, each tribe brings offerings to honor the trees. Oh, they're holding them, I see it. But for one generation, the journey was different. The land became dry and hot. With murmurs of dark spirits in the east. Worse, the western elder tree were only a single fruit. On the eve of their departure, the young leader of the elephant tribe kept vigil, waiting for an omen from the elder tree. Shaman. I am beginning to understand. The elder tree's only fruit was not an ill omen, but a precious gift. I am Shaman of the Elephant Tribe, and you, you are Shepherd, a child of the elder tree. I guess we're not, but are we, are we not being the elephant? I wanted to be the elephant. Although you don't know it yet, you possess a great power. When you soar high in the skies, rain shall stretch out behind you. When you beat your wings, great gales will whip past you. When your feet touch the earth, the ground will yawn beneath you. And when you cry out, 
Lightning shall strike all around you. Shepherd, I fear something is very wrong in the land. I do not believe the pilgrimage will be easy. Will you aid us on our journey? Title screen! Quench. I really wanted to play as an elephant, but I will settle for... I, I hope it's a crane. I love cranes. Crane is the animal of my soul. So if I get to be a crane, I'll live. But it also might be a flamingo, which is less cool. In my head, it's going to be a crane because that's what I want. I am very disappointed. The marketing really made it look like I was going to be an elephant. Oh, man. Okay. Level one, play. Grass and scrub when grown can help animals recover stamina. Rock and sand are bad news. First steps. The pilgrimage to the Eastern Elder Tree is about to begin, but first, Shaman must teach you how to use the powers of rain and wind. The morning is bright and clear, a good start to the pilgrimage. Shepherd, let's start by learning to control rain. You can use your rain power to grow plants. There's a patch of dead grass. Why don't you try raining on it to restore it? You can use weather powers to control the environment. Select a power using the mouse. Press E to confirm. Okay. Selected. So I, I guess it's these bits. Uh, that are like brown? I guess that's what it is. Okay. E confirm. Oh, I was right! Ah, that was a grove. When you revive a grove, it gives you more power. You should definitely keep an eye out for those. I think there are two more nearby. Um, so. Oh no, that's not what I meant to do! Oh no! Well, it says infinity, so hopefully that's not a bad thing. Um, yeah, my voice for this character is going to be so inconsistent. Just be ready for it now, y'all. That looks like the same kind of thing. And then the other one is up on top of our screen. Unless I'm, like, mistaken. This is as zoomed out as I can get. Okay. It seems like you have a good grasp of rain now. This is the seed from your fruit, Shepherd. The only fruit our Elder Tree bore. It's all we have to offer the Eastern Elder Tree. It will have to be enough. At the start of our pilgrimage, we stop to ask for the blessings of our ancestors. If we leave now, we will arrive at the Canyon of the Elders by sunset. As we travel, oh God, our tribe will move on our own while you fly overhead. Our tribe will move on our own while you fly overhead. We gotta redo the line, y'all. All animal tribes graze as we move. We need to eat grass to keep our stamina up. If we are traveling on dead grass, rocks, or sand, we can't graze. Oxford comma, developers, y'all. When our stamina runs out, the weakest among us may die. Rain can give us grass to eat by bringing life to the land. Okay, terrain can help or hinder herd stamina. Grass and scrub when grown can help animals recover, but rock and sand are bad news. Herds lose stamina if attacked while swimming or traversing fire pollution. Oh God. So watch out. Once the stamina bar runs out, an animal will die. We, we don't want that to happen. There is a resting tree ahead, but it has withered. You know what to do. I assume that means I rain on it. Or not. We will rest here for a while as you fly on and scout the path ahead. If you could spare some rain here, the grass would give us more stamina for the journey ahead. Sometimes sand collects here. It slows us down and prevents the trees from growing. Could you use wind to clear a path for us and dig our resting tree out so it can grow? I think there's a wind grove nearby. 
Okay, so laying on the tree. Thank you, Shepherd. That will give us plenty to eat while we rest. Ah, oh, my headphones are itchy. Okay, so. Okay, I move WASD. Good. And there's. Okay, so I have to earn this. Oh! Okay, I see. There's little stones that tell you what it is. Okay. So if I rain on the stones, I get wind. This grove gave you five wind charges when you rained on it. Keep an eye out for the sigil stones next to the grove. They give you a hint about which power you'll get back. After you place wind, you must also choose a direction for it to travel. The direction determines where sand or smoke beasts go, or whether animals will speed up or slow down. Smoke beasts? That's slightly concerning. I keep moving with my finger because the last game I was playing did that and this one does not do that. Okay, so move the sand. I don't know which direction they go after this. I'll just move it that way. The resting tree is uncovered. Use rain to restore it. Okay, I have an infinity of those, so that's fine. I'm enjoying this kind of like polygonal, polygonal situation. Thank you, Shepard. When you're ready, signal us to move on by choosing our next direction. Animals move on their own, but when they stop to rest, you can direct them using shepherding mode. Click on the herd badge or press E while a herd is selected. Then press E to confirm a path. Okay. So, herd badge, I guess. I don't understand what else I'm supposed to be doing. Or where I'm going after this. Oh my, oh, it's okay. Never mind. this map is huge. That's pretty. I wanna go there. How do I get there? Okay, that's the edge of the map. I had to explore y'all. Okay, I'm clicking on shepherd herds. We only have one direction to go, so I guess that's the direction we're going. Hi, baby bird. My cat's here. Hi, baby bird. Do you need something? Cat says hi. Cat says pay attention to me, not your computer screen. Hi, baby bird. Don't you mess up my playthrough now. Oh, oh, if you move that wire, do not touch that wire. Level completed, yay! Okay, bye kitty. First steps, we did all these things. We learned to use rain by reviving three nearby groves. We led the elephants to the final resting tree. And we learned to use wind by clearing sand from the path. Awesome. Next level, that was a pretty quick tutorial, so we will go on and do the next one too. Sigil stones next to groves give you a hint about which power you'll get back. As the sun sinks below the cliffs, shaman and the elephants stop to offer prayers to their ancestors. This Level of, title of this level is reverence. It's a good word. I'm so relieved. We've arrived at the Canyon of the Elders in time. But look, the flowers we planted on our family's graves are all dried up and covered in sand and rocks. Shepherd, will you help me clean up the groves on each shrine so that we can properly ask for blessings for our pilgrimage? Groves give you more powers, so explore to find them all. Inspect the grove carefully to learn how to revive it. Is it dry, covered in sand, or blocked by boulders or brambles? Sigil stones mark which powers you'll receive in return. Okay, learn to use quake on boulders and well springs. Okay, this one just looks like sand. So, I'll blow the sand into the water. <laughs> I don't know if that's the right solution. So now I have five quake and I need rain. That, I, no, that's boulders. I think I lied. We're not done with the tutorial. 
Okay, that was the right answer. Yay! I have rain again. Um, the waterfalls. Oh, look. <gasps> look, there's elephants painted on the side. They have... They're carrying flowers in their trunks. Oh my god. I love it. What is that? There's more elephants painted on the mountains. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, this one. I don't know what's wrong with that one. I can't tell. I think this one is just dry. Maybe? Okay, that was not the answer. Uh. Um. Okay, this one's sandy, so I, I know how to fix that. Go. Yeah, I have more quake things. Okay, so I guess, I guess maybe that's brambles then. I'm trying to get closer. I guess there's rocks there too. Oh, that was, oh look, there's a waterfall now. It's gonna, is it gonna fill up this reservoir? Oh, I did that so nice. I did the right thing. Okay, so this one. I guess it is also brambles? I have the most extra of the quake things, so we're gonna try that. Okay, that was not the answer. Maybe it's dry. Yes, yes, okay. Some of these, it's hard to tell. Okay, so we did, we fixed one, two, three, four. How many were there? And this looks like I'm supposed to rain on it. Maybe not. What am I missing? What am I missing? Oh, okay. Uh, we'll just go then, I guess. And we're trying to make it to the next tree with the little elephant marker that was that last one over there. May our tribe be like the Baobab's root, encircling the stone placed upon the earth, not opposing, but embracing our trials ahead. And then I guess, oh, we have to clear these obstacles. Okay, okay, I see. That's why we have so many extra quakey bits. Okay, shepherd herds. I guess this way. Uh, let me move, thank you. May our tribe glitter and skip like the sun's reflections, joyful and bright, ever numerous, friends to all the creatures of the earth. Next, where, where to go next? Yes, that is the direction that I want to go. Will I make it? Did I do it right? Oh no, oh, I should have rained on some, oh, I did not leave enough rain. Oh no, these guys are stuck. You can do it, little guys. You can do it, little elephants, I believe in you. Last one, I believe in you, you can do it. Oh no, it's stuck. Oh no. Oh no, come on, honey. You 
can do it. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, it poofed. <laughs> I guess that was a good thing. May our tribe be like the rains to the grass, spreading new growth, new green, new blossoms where we step. Right, apparently that was correct. And now we go this way. This way. I need more rain. I hope I didn't lose an elephant. Oh, I guess that little number is how many there are, so I didn't. He just poofed. May our tribe ever flow with the purpose of the river, always knowing our direction, gathering streams and strength and speed along our way. Oh no, look, Shepherd, the shrine of the ancestors is all dried up. The waterfalls have stopped flowing. This is another awful omen. The shrine's lake is fed by a wellspring atop the cliff. Did something happen to it? I don't know, but maybe I can fix it? Maybe? Thank you, Shepherd. I, oh, it's so cool. And there's a big tree, oh, it's so cool. Look. Oh, I'm so proud of myself. And this game's really pretty. Come on, guys. You can do it. <gasps> Big shiny elephant. Yay. Oh, and little flowers appeared on the tree. You have my deep gratitude, Shepherd. Our shrines are beautiful once more. Just as the elder tree offers our tribe life, so we take this pilgrimage to offer our gifts. I would have delivered that differently if I knew it was coming. <laughs> we spread, we celebrate, we garden. We honor the future with our past, the morning with the evening. We honor the east with the west and return here. May we go with the blessings of our ancestors. Look at me. This is my first pilgrimage, my first time leading the tribe. When I was a calf, my grandmother taught my mother the ways of the shaman. But mother succumbed to illness, so in the time she had left, grandmother taught me instead. Grandmother was to lead this pilgrimage, but she became weak, so I will lead it instead. I am afraid, Shepherd. I am too young. The elder tree grew only one fruit. Was it a sign? Bad luck for the journey? The others must think this way, yet that fruit bore you, didn't it? I have to prove them wrong. Will you help me? Of course I will! Reverence level completed! We learned to use quake on boulders and wellsprings. We restored all five ancestral shrines, and we helped shaman's elephants visit every shrine. Yay, go us! Um. I think we're going to do one more level because I know we have lightning and then at least one other thing that we're supposed to learn. And I'd like to kind of like wrap up quote unquote tutorial mode in this episode. Lost one. The elephants make their way to the coast of the Westland where troubling news awaits. Learn to use lightning to clear brambles. These brambles are too dense for us to pass through. Perhaps you could burn them away with your lightning? But be careful not to start a brush fire. The ground here is rather dry. 
Okay, so I guess they're implying that we should dry stuff first and then make the brambles. Lightning can't burn brambles while being rained on. Well, that makes sense. And then if we do that, a fire won't start? Are you guys just walking through the fire? Are you guys okay? It looks like the herd will have to choose which path to take. Oh no. Shepard, you can see much farther than us. Some paths are easier, some safer. We will leave the decision to you. Each herd has a stamina meter that keeps track of how tired your animals are. The herd badge will turn red when encountering danger and green when grazing at a resting tree or healing from rain. Select the next or previous herd. We only have one herd, so that doesn't matter. Oh, spring box! These little icons, I really enjoy these icons. They're an interesting art style. And then this looks like it will give me rain if I quick that. Yay, I'm really upset I don't have infinite rain still. <laughs> okay, so we can go this way. Oh no, what happened? Something happened. Never mind, I fixed it. I must have pressed the wrong button. We can go this way. That's very dry. And there's... Um, and I don't know if it's possible to get both the brambles and that in the same one. But, and then we can go this way where there's also a fuckload of brambles. But there's like more stuff. I think we're gonna go the top way. Cause they, it is not that different. But first, let's blow some sand out of the way. Go that way. And then let's rain on all this stuff. I can't get them all. Damn. Okay, we're gonna take a risk. I feel like sand probably can't burn. So. Well, that didn't work. Go that way. I guess they're just gonna go through the brambles. Nope, they're stuck. We just, do we just like wait here for them to get unstuck? I'm kind of confused. I'm confused. Okay. There's, I like that the, I think they're stuck. I don't feel like sitting here and wait. So we're gonna restart that level. Because I did it wrong. I am confusion. Water break. They don't tell y'all how sore your throat gets doing this shit. Like, it's a lot. Okay, blah, 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 blah. We already did all this dialogue. Give me my rain first. gonna walk through the fire because that makes so much sense and then I guess we have to go or at least we have to make this grassy yeah I guess we'll go down because that looks like it's probably the better way Can I get all of that? Nope. 
we can get some of it. We'll take a risk. We'll take a risk. Okay. Yeah, I did it. It worked. Okay. Come on, elephant friends. We're going to go this way. Oh no, guys. You can do it. Go under those roots. Be smart. I know you're smart. Oh, I thought that was a resting tree. It is a resting tree. Okay. I have to figure out. Oh, I'm so nervous about this. I'm so nervous. And then that has to go out. Okay, so that's, that's that. We need sand away. Yeah, that's because that's more rain. That's a resting tree. Okay. Uh, what else is there? I need. I need wind, and I need rain and other stuff. Oh God, this is very stressful, y'all. It's very stressful. it looks like yeah it looks like we're close to being done with this level so I guess I don't have to do all of them yes go that way go there good job go to the little elephant stone I love them they're so cute Everything is triangles. I feel bad about this bushfire. Please stop. There's sand. Sand should not be burning like that. Oh, look, glitter. I didn't see the glitter. Um, I feel bad about that. Oh, I got a prize. Now I have infinity lightning. Why do I now have infinity lightning? What does that get me? a springbok doing here and alone she looks on the verge of unconsciousness she needs energy when one of us is about to pass out you can give them a zap of your lightning lightning is dangerous and it can kill us if you're not careful but it can also be a life-saving source of power Shepard try using lightning on the springbok well that's kind of terrifying how do I know if I'm on the right square? I guess that looks like the right square. Oh, she's up! <gasps> Yay, Bouncy Springbok! Oh, I'm happy for her. Am I about to have to come up with a voice for the Springbok? Thank the trees I found you. Thought this sprint would be the end of me. Oh, excuse my rudeness. I'm Scout. Headlong sent me with news from the Eastland. Headlong? They're our tribe's leader. Should have led with that. It's been a while since the elephants have been to the Eastland, right? Why did the Springbok send a messenger when we are only a day's travel to the Veld? Your tribe has been grazing the Westland. Safer here. But after the crossing, you will see. Dark spirits, like smoke, come alive. They wander the veldt, sometimes chase if you get too close. Mostly they don't bother with us, but when they do, it's bad news. Best not to let them get too close. Headlong wanted to warn you. Our tribe is on the move to get away from these smoke beasts. If what Scout says is true, we must journey quickly, but Headlong may have more knowledge. What should I do? 
we will meet with Headlong. The Springbok should be given the choice to make the pilgrimage with us or stay behind. Got it. I'll tell them, but you should move quickly. We won't stay long. I do not like the voice I picked for that Springbok. We'll, we'll make the crossing tonight to be sure we'll catch up. Should have done like a bouncy voice with Springbok. That was a stupid choice I made. Ah, oh, next time think about it more. Okay, level completed. We learned to use lightning to complete rebels. We guided shaman's elephants to the coastline and we revived the exhausted Springbok with lightning. I think the last tutorial level is the next one and we're gonna meet the smoke beast and I hope, fingers crossed, that's uh, that kind of feels like the the way it's going. I'm really bad at judging this kind of stuff. The crossing. Shaman and the elephants must make a dangerous water crossing from their home to the Eastland where the other tribes await. So yeah, that does sound like final tutorial. We must make the crossing tonight if we wish to catch up with the Springbok in time. There's much more water than I was last here. We elephants are good swimmers, but we will eventually tire. Long swims are very dangerous for any creature. Shepherd, your healing rain can give us a boost of stamina, but if one of us falls, remember to use lightning to revive them. Just watch out. Water and lightning are a dangerous combination. Lightning's effects will spread further over op open water. Please choose our path carefully. Okay. Okay. Hold on, I want, I need more rain. More rain? Yay, lots more rain. Okay, so it's a stone tree thingy. Can we stop on this rock? I think this needs to be rained on. I'm not 100% sure. I think. Was that it? Yes, that was it. Fuck yeah. Okay, so can we like stop on the rock? Or do we have to go around? I'm confused. Okay, and that's the next tree. I'll go ahead and rain on that. So they can eat while they're there. And then I guess we can also go this way. Oh, that was not the next tree. Maybe it was. Okay, yeah, so that's one option is to go this way. Might go ahead and grab the wind. Yeah, I I hope this is gonna work out. I'm just grabbing things in advance. And then we have another tree. And then that's. Oh, I don't have any more rocks. I only have one earthquake left, so I should be judicious with it. That's where we're going. And then I guess this is the other direction that we can go. Resting tree. S okay. There, we'll get a couple more, a couple more rocks. <laughs> tree, brambles, oh man, so many choices, yeah, and that's just, okay, okay, where, where are we, where am I, okay, there we are, I think we're gonna go this way, because I already kind of worked on it, we're gonna go that way, I'm confused. Yeah. So then you'll. Oh, you go all the way across. 
Okay, I already I felt that, so we're good there. Please be okay, elephants. Oh god, I'm so worried about them. I need them to be okay. And I guess it turn, turns red when they're losing stamina. Baby, no, no, that's not the way. No, honey, no. No, honey, be okay, please. Please, please be okay. Please be okay. Yeah, I think it turns red when they're spending energy. Are you gonna poof? I need you to be okay. Please join your family. Honey, please join your family. I'm scared for you. What? Okay, she poofed. Okay. We're good. What was that? <gasps> Whoa! Interesting sky. Oh, big bird. There it is again. I don't know what that was. The waves are getting stronger. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, now it's scary. Okay, so that has like stepping stones, but then it's got this big... Oh no, I guess we can go this way. I hope we can go that way. Oh, gosh. Yeah, okay, so stepping stones. Stepping stones this way. Or we can go either one of those. I think that makes more sense. Well, either way, they're stepping stones. So yeah, I definitely move up. It definitely should be up. So we'll go ahead and start doing that. Oh, look, their little trunks go up when they swim. Oh, that's so cute. And then maybe this way. I, yeah, I think, I think, I think I feel good about that. That way. Yeah, this way to the stepping stones. So yeah, we'll go ahead and rain on this. Rain, yeah, rain on that. Rain! I keep pressing the wrong buttons, oh my god. to get past these brambles. I don't want to start a fire, but we're surrounded by water. It'll be fine. It'll be fine, I hope. <laughs> I hope. Please burn out. Please be done. Please be done. Are you done? I'm waiting for it to burn out. It's got to burn out at some point. It's got to stop at some point, right? I hope. Maybe not. Maybe I have to use my rain to put it out. I mean, I can live with that. Worst things have happened. Oh, I did. It made the water level higher. Okay. Okay. And I want to go, yes, this way. Swim strong, elephant friends. I believe in you. I love elephants so much. They're just so cool. You can do it. You can do it, little buddies. You can do it, little buddies. Come on. You can do it. 
I believe in you. Okay, they poofed. Okay. Oh no, it's stuck again. Oh, there she goes. There she goes. Good job. Good ladies. Look at my girls. They're so smart. Gina wants us to go all the way over there. To, okay, so we're going to this one. Okay, so that's that's lightning again. Okay, and that burned out on its own. Awesome. Love it. Hi, ladies. Can you go this way, please? Thank you. I worry so much about them. I worry so much about them. They're such good girls. Why are we stopping? Ladies, I don't understand what the, what is the issue here? Go that way. Hello? Why are they stuck? Why are we stuck? Oh, did they just stop there? Is that where we stop? Oh, I guess that's where we stop. Never mind then. Oh no, they're all the way underwater. Be safe, elephant friends. Be safe, you can do it. I, I love you. I love you, you can do it. Oh my God. Be safe, be safe, be safe, be safe, be safe. I'm trying to make you walk over grass. I don't know why you're not doing that. There we go. I I just did those brambles. I just did that shit. Why are we doing it again? Oh, can we go straight across? Oh, we we might we might do that. Yeah, I might do that. I think I'll do that. We'll just go straight across, but we're gonna sit here and let them gain some stamina first because we gotta take care of the ladies. We gotta take care of them. I'm going to make myself some tea with honey for dinner, or not dinner, for just to have when this is over. <laughs> Okay, come on ladies, I believe in you. They're ladies because elephants are matriarchal. For, for those of y'all who are not obsessed with elephants. I have made this arbitrary choice and I will stand by it. Come on guys, you can do it. it okay, I get really nervous. No, 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 I'm so proud of us. Wow, that was stressful. I get so stressed when their little noses disappear behind, but underneath the waves. Okay, level completed the crossing. We helped Charlene's elephant swim to the Eastland. Yay, we did it. I think I'm gonna leave it there for tonight. I know I said I was gonna try and meet the beasts and stuff, but uh, it this is, already gone on for quite a while so i think we're gonna stop here i am excited to play the rest of this go game though so stay tuned for that i will be back soonish like and they will all be in a playlist i will also be putting all of the first episodes of the itch.io bundle games that i play in one playlist as well because i know several people are kind of just lost with how 
how many games are up, are available with that. So I'm going to be putting them all in one playlist so we can watch the first episode of every game that I play from that bundle, and hopefully people will be helped by that. Um, but that is all for now. Thank you so much for playing with me once again. I am Vega. Goodbye, old friends and new strangers.